Hi there, um, I just want to talk to you about using style files to um, symbolize data. Um, in this example we're going to be symbolizing the master map data with a predefined style file um, that's already been created to, to um, display the master map data in a sort of fairly standardized symbology. Um, when you drag data into um, AltMap, um, the computer just chooses um, a symbolization method automatically and you don't have any choice so um, I've just dragged in a load of arc um, a load of data here which represents the arc um, the master map data um, and then we're going to go through and, and we're going to link it to the style file um, which has already been created for us it's quite a straightforward process um, the first thing we need to do is to to um, go onto one of the layers and we double click the layer and then we go to layer properties um, and we're going to go to symbology um, and there's a default style that's been used uh, we need to dig down into the categories option and then we're going to go match to a style um, now I've already downloaded the style sheet the style file um, and put it in a location and I'm now going to browse to that file so I've got it in a folder called styles um, it's the one at the top here um, and I'm going to open that and I'm now going to to make sure that I choose legend as my field value and then I'm going to match the styles and then I'm going to hit apply and immediately there um, it's already started to change the data and it's used the legend to symbolize um, the um, attributes in a predefined style um, so I'm going to now go up through um, and change the rest so again it's uh, to match unique uh, legend and I'm going to browse to the file the style sheet um, open that and then I'm going to match the symbols and then we're going to go to the next one again the same match the symbols and so on so uh, same again Okay, you can see as we do that the map is gradually changing as the data is being symbolized as we go through the list. And we're almost there now. So just one more to do. Browse to the style file and then match the symbols and OK. So we've now stylized or symbolized the data um, and made it a lot more user friendly and visually more interesting and also at the same time we've also created this um, more comprehensive um, legend um, for all the different sets of data that are here. Um, the next stage on um, with this process, once we've um, created a symbology, we want to save this symbology so that we can use, or at least save this view so we can use it again. Um, simplest way to do that, um, and this is particularly useful if we want to be able to load all of this, um, this symbolized data up in exactly the same way in another project, another map project. Um, at the moment all of this detail is stuck within this particular um, file that we have here, this MXD file. And if we turn it into a layer file that means that data is now available to anybody else who might want to use it. Um, so before we do that we need to um, group all of these different layers together. So I'm going to shift click the bottom one which will select all of them now. And now I'm going to right click on any one and then select group. Um, so that's now grouped all of these layers together which means we can now collapse that group and we can rename the layer. Um, by grouping the data it also has the other benefit of being able to switch all of the data off in one go and back on again. Um, and now it's just a simple um, process of right clicking on the group data and saving as a layer file. Um, layer files um, sit outside the geo database um, and the idea being that they can be loaded by anybody um, into any kind of um, project um, and it's a way of getting a load of data 
um, very quickly into a project but also maintaining the symbology that you've created that so that is all stored inside the layer file at the same time um, so I'm just going to um, pop it in here um, and save it as master map layer um, so there we go so I can now remove this from the project and I could now simply go to the catalog and go into the layer file um, folder and then I could just drag the layer file across and there we go we've got all our symbolized data and all of those different um, attributes all stored as we left them before and of course we could uh, we could drag that into any different map project we wanted and it would come up exactly the same and of course we can do this um, creating layer files for any kinds of data um, and it really is a way of sharing data and also symbolizing data consistently and, and maintaining the symbols and the labels that you have pre-selected um, so, so yeah, um, using a lab file can be really useful for sharing data and being consistent about the way you generate the data. Another benefit of using a lab file means you can load a whole load of data in very quickly into the GIS. Um, and also the person who's using the data doesn't necessarily need to know where all the data is actually stored. Um, they just simply load the layer file up and the data is all automatically loaded and populated um, for them even though some of this data is being pulled out of a geo database. Um, from a user's point of view, they don't necessarily need to know about that. Um, so yeah, layer files can be really useful um, in, in many situations. And also it's a good way of organizing um, large amounts of data by grouping them and then turning them into layer files.